Hello and welcome to the new channel. Our passion transforms a community that sees and shares all things new. The new channel. The new channel. Hashtag TNC now. The views, opinions, and insights expressed in the following shows are those of the host, producers, guests, and viewers. They do not necessarily reflect the position of the channel. Viewer discretion is advised. This is Carla Davila streaming from Tagaytay City. And this is Kathy streaming from the beautiful city of Tagaytay. You're watching Breakfast with the King on TNC and FYE channel. Hi, good morning, Kathy. Good morning, everyone. How are you, Kathy? Good morning. I'm good. I'm good. I'm happy to be back in Tagaytay because on weekdays, I am in the city, in the corporate jungle. But on weekends, okay. I'm so happy. I'm so happy because I'm here in the province. Amen. Are you excited, Kathy, to talk about uh, this topic is annoying? Uh, 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 you know, a concern by everyone, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, actually, you no. Know, ang topic natin napakaganda. It's about God's provision. God's provision. Uh, lately, Kathy, this week was there an uh, uh, an episode, um, you know, in in your work or in your personal life that you felt that you were showered by God's provision just on time. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, I can't divulge what they are, but they're two things uh, pertaining to the same topic. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay. Sige. So, ang, ang, ang topic natin, uh, me, uh, well, our day-to-day -day living, no? Uh, food on the table, pay the bills, you know, uh, being able to save. Uh, see, God has been very, very faithful. I would say since Kathy and I got married, ayan, si God has been for providing. And napakaganda, Kathy, ng topic natin. Uh, a lot of people will ano, relate to this, no? Kasi talagang challenge, no? It's a it's a day-to-day -day challenge for everyone, no? You know, doing a good job, keeping a job. Just, you know, provision. Provision is very, very important. Um, sa ngayon, uh, Kathy, can I ask you a favor? Can you start us with a worship song? Kasi yan ang ano natin sa Breakfast right. with the King. It's my pleasure. And of course, we're also on Kumu. And Kumu is all about sharing one's talents also, no? So, madami yeah. yung singing na nangyayari dyan. So, this morning, um, if if we love to sing for our, like, uh, significant other or yung iba meron silang you know object of their affection we then dito naman sa breakfast with the king we sing to the lord and um i'd like to share this beautiful song uh, to all of you and please sing with me as well ah uh, okay hang on I've heard the tender whispers of love in the dead of night. You tell me that you're pleased and that I'm never alone. 
You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. So that is our good, good father. And uh, indeed, Father God is such a good God and a good, good father to all of us. Amen, beautiful uh, devo uh, worship devotion, Kathy. Sige, I'll pray for our today's episode. No? As uh, pag-usapan natin, na-mention mo dyan, good, good father. Tapos ang topic natin is God's provision. Um Quick prayer before we start. No? Lord God, thank you so much for being a good, good father. Tapos yan kami, you know, uh, this life is very challenging. Uh, alam mo naman, we have to provide for our families. No? And uh, there's a lot of concerns. No? Food on the table, sometimes health concerns. Uh, may mga nangangailangan tayo, family and friends. You know, pag-aaral ng mga bata, etc. So much responsibility, so much bills to pay. But, uh, Lord, we thank you. We thank you, O Lord, because not only uh, did you give promises in the Bible that you will provide for us, but actually we experience on a day-to-day, -day, there are miracles that uh, we receive your provision. So you are indeed a good, good Father. So thank you. Thank you so much, O Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name. And you know, Kathy, we have a... Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I wanted to share in line with that song, no? God being a good father. It says in Matthew 7, 11, If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your father in heaven give good, good gifts to those who ask him? So, yun lang. Amen. It's a beautiful verse. Amen. So ngayon, uh, meron tayong bagong segment, Kathy, no? Uh, ngayon to introduce, it's called Praise Report. And ang Praise Report, pinag-uusapan natin ng, you know, milestones at saka mga events that's happening in churches around us, no? Na actually, these churches are pushing for the pinaka-mission na binigay ni Lord, no? Then that is called the Great Commission. The Jesus Agenda. So, um, eto, Kathy, uh, I want to get your feedback on this. No? Pakita ko sa'yo ang praise report. Go ahead. Okay. Ganda naman nun. Um, did I, can you play it from the start? So that's how we uh, I know you were there yourself, right? And how many yeah. what's your estimated estimated uh, right. crowd count? Ah, pinadala sa akin ng ating friend natin na missionary, no? Na ano, uh, sa, kasi ito mga youth to guys, ah. Lahat to youth. Um, hmm. uh, mga ano to students in campuses yan ang ginagawa ng CCF. Ito nagpadala siya sa akin. Approximately, wait, 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 wait. Uh, sige, sige. What is your, ano, uh, what no, is I your uh, feedback dyan muna? Well, I, I'm trying to check, no? Kung, uh, kung, kung ilan yeah. yung number. Okay. Let's yeah. check it, eh. As far as the number, it, I, I mean, it doesn't Ito da, 1,134. Actually, 1,134, Kathy. There you go. Right. Well, it's actually gonna be more it's going to be more than that, um, I believe, because um, in, 
yung bawat isang 1,100 na yan, in their homes, they are able to to multiply, you know, the you know others for Jesus because and, and share the gospel in their households. Because if they are a light to their homes, then mahahatak nila yun for the Lord because they'll always, people around you will always be attracted to the light that you carry. And they will be wondering, why is it that this person is not um, crushed by circumstances? He or she is going through the same trials um, that this life may bring. Bak- Pero bakit siya stable? Bakit siya, yeah. you know, bothered siya but um, at the end of the day, he or she can still smile and be positive about life. And, you know, so sa akin, it's such a good um, sight to see because these are young people. We're in that oh, stage yeah. of our lives as we do. Um, it's a time we're in. We experiment on so many things. Pwede tayong mahata ng towards bad things um, that may cause permanent damage on our lives. And and uh, affecting our future. So ang ganda ng ginagawa ng CCF Elevate um, to reach people or reach the students for Jesus. Um, at that very stage wherein they want to experiment on things, yeah. um, hormones, you know, um, testosterones are high, um, pero ano eh, they're high on Jesus. Di ba? Amen! Amen! Some more power to CCF. Uh, because you are carrying the mission of Jesus, tapos yan, you are spreading Jesus most effectively, as we can see, no, to the younger generation, mga students, no, and they will be us, no, in the future, no, mga ano to, okay. sila ang head ng families nila, head ng mga corporations, mm-hmm. sa work, leaders, etc. No? And uh, you, we're just looking at a better uh, tomorrow, no, a better world ahead yeah. of us. So now, Amen. So, Kathy, we're moving forward now with our topic. So, our topic okay. natin is God's provision. Kathy, God's can you uh, read to us some slides and then I'll try to cover yung mga, uh, what do you call this, mga Bible verses no, as we uh, tackle this. No? So, yung topic natin is learn more about God's provision. Okay. And galing to kay it's Melanie Newton. Okay. All right. It says here, think differently of God's provision for you. These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers, but your heavenly Father already knows your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and He will give you everything you need. So it says here, nga, no, unahin mo yung. Um, things of God and all these things will be added unto you. Those verses are, are from a sermon that Jesus gave to his followers where he describes a stark contrast between what the world does, even good people in the world, and what the lives of Jesus' followers should look would look like. Don't let your needs dominate your thoughts. That is how those who reject God live, but it is how those who will not choose to trust God God live and they usually wallow in fear. So in sinasabi dito no, um think differently of God's provision for you meaning you pivot your thoughts to the truth that um Jesus is your is is the one who provides no. Um yeah. Amen. At saka sabi dito no, I'll read from Matthew no. These things dominate thoughts of unbelievers but your heavenly Father already knows all your needs seek the kingdom of god above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need so don't worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will bring its own worries today's trouble is enough for today i think ang key ano dito point na makita natin is seek the kingdom of god above all else and live righteously and he will give you all that you need but does so, that mean... Mo si Lord, provision will come. Yeah. Pero, um, okay, seeking the Lord, sometimes though, parang iba, parang sige, should, I should spend more time in church. Is that what it means? Na parang, uh, doon ako, I'll, I'll do service to the Lord. Um, you know, are devoted to 
ministry, pero bahala na si Lord doon sa so, ano ko, needs ko. Is that no. what it means for you? No. Kasi ang sabi niya, uh, ang, uh, ang thinking dito is, si Lord is primary, no? your primary priority. Your needs no? are your secondary priority. But they are still a priority. Yung sinasabi lang dito, unahin mo si Lord. Kasi sometimes, nagtatrabaho ka, una talaga ang trabaho. Kasi lahat secondary. Secondary si Lord, ganyan, number one mo, trabaho. That's not the case. Ang sinasabi, number one si Lord, secondary ang trabaho. Ngayon, pag sinabi natin kay Lord, it doesn't mean na uh, kailangan nagsaserve ka sa church or sa may ministry ka. It's not that. Pag sinabing sec- prim- priority si Lord, it means in everything you do, nasa isip mo siya. So yun. Yes. At saka yung is relationship part... mo sa kanya is the most important thing in the world. Yeah. Yun you start your day with, um, you know, welcoming the Lord into your day. Um, siya yung una mo. Yun, yun ang ibig sabihin nun. So sometimes iba na confused kasi yung ministry, tapos yung church. So yung sinasabi dito, relationship mo with the Lord. Okay? Amen. Okay, let's move on. Um, eto ngayon, going back to the slides, eto ngayon ang first uh, I don't know, uh, instruction no? on how to get the provisions of the Lord. Go ahead, Kathy. Medyo sampu to, kaya dapat magbibreeze forward tayo. Okay, okay. okay, I thought the first one that I read was the first. Okay, no, 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 so no, God's, no. God's provision is His is His to give and take away. Regard it humbly. Oh, mabigat, no? God's provision is His, so siya bahala, to give and to take away as well. And we are to regard it humbly. There are several things we need to understand about this lesson. Everything that we have comes from God. Paul reminds us in his first letter to Corinthians, what do you have that God hasn't given? And if everything you have, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, is from God, why boast as though it were not a gift? Um, okay, there wait, is lang, not- before, wait lang, Kathy. Before, wait Before you go ahead, no, I'll read the Bible verse para connected John. One Corinthians says, uh, "For what gives you the right to make such a judgment?" What do you have that God doesn't hasn't given you? And if everything you have is from God, why boast? Bakit mo ipagyayabang? As though it were not a gift, regalo lang sa yo. Okay, Kathy, please go ahead. There is not anything that we have that we did not receive from God. Our birthplace, our height, our attractiveness. Our intelligence, our our natural talents, all those come from God. Everything we can boastfully live as though we had everything to do with those things. Um, Yun nga, parang minsan ang yabang natin na parang uh, akin tong bahay na to, pinaghirapan ko, akin tong trabahong to, matalino ko, uh, masipag ako. Actually, what we all have, let's all be humble um, with the reality that all of these come from the Lord. Um, nag-cooperate ka lang kay Lord that, you know, like maybe inalagaan mo kasi yung provision niya, kaya, you know, you're enjoying or reaping those things. Okay, let's Amen. go back to this. So your resources, your talents, everything that you're feel, you feel so proud of, you don't own it. God right. owns it and then He just gave it to you. So wala ka pwede ipagyabang. Remain humble. And if you do, he will bless you more. Okay, let's go ahead yeah. with the set. With next the, one next is slide. God's provision. Ah, okay. Is it still number one? It says Skip here. Na yan. Number two na uh, tayo kasi marami. Okay. Okay. So what yeah. got, oh. I too, you asked me na rin lately eh. Diba? That oh, was sige. Pero guys, how about you? What has God provided for you lately? Can you answer this question in our comment section? Whether you're on Kumu or FY, uh, FYE channel or on TNC, what has God provided for you lately? We want to know. We want to know. Um, yan. So ano tayo? Usap tayo. All right? So next, God's provision is always enough. Receive it gratefully. Kung anong binigay sa'yo, 
yun na yun. Uh, yun na yung, I mean, like for this time or this season, um, that is enough. That Meaning na, na kwenta na ni God na yan yung sufficient for this time. Okay? Consider what Moses told the people of Israel at the end of 40 years of nom nomadic life in the desert. With manna in the morning and quail every night for supper, no house or farm, no new shoes or clothes. Moses told the people of Israel, they lacked nothing. Okay? Even nung time ni, ano, ni Moses, no, nung sinasabi nga that they um, left um, the Egypt, Egypt no? to go to the land of promise. The Lord your God has blessed you in all the work of your hands. He has watched over your journey through this vast wilderness. Tayo, may mga pinagdadaanan din tayo. We are also in a journey. And the Lord is watching over us. Um, so yeah, in, in scripture... It says here that these 40 years, the Lord your God has been with you and you have not lacked anything. Later, okay, he wait, wait, okay, wait, wait. Every time we hit a Bible verse, may I request, I'll read the Bible, Bible sure. verse para ada tayo sa flow. Okay, ito ang sabi sa Bible, no? For the Lord your God has blessed you in everything you have done. He has watched you your every step. Through his, this great wilderness... During this 40 years, the Lord your God has been with you and you have lacked nothing. Ito, paulit-ulit sinasabi dito. You have, mm -hmm. yan, in-underline ko, you have lacked nothing. Nothing lacked anything. Sa Bible nakalagay, you have lacked nothing. So walang nagkukulang. So Kathy, mm -hmm. please continue. Right. Later, he told them in, the, in their new land with abundant water and bountiful food that they will lack lack nothing for the lord your god is bringing you into a good land a land with brooks streams and deep springs gushing out into the valleys and hills a land with wheat and barley vines and fig trees pomegranates i love pomegranates carlo olive oil and honey <laughs> and where where bread will not be scarce and you will not lack nothing so ang galing no ang napansin ko dito um Yun nga, pag may in-emphasize si God, no, kasi inuulit-ulit talaga siya sa Bible. So kapag may napapansin ka, like what Carlo said, na nire-repeat siya, then we are to take heed. Meaning, um, in-emphasize siya ni Lord sa atin. Um, sinabi no, na doon sa, sa journey pa lang nila to the promised land, ang sinabi na ni Lord, you lack nothing. Sa kahit scarce sila that time, no? Or... Or they see, they thought they were scarce, though may provide na si Lord na mana from heaven, right? And quail eggs during that time. Pero nung nakapunta na rin sila sa promised land, sinabi, you will, you are, will lack nothing. So whether in abundance or in lack, seemingly we, we think na abundant tayo or we, we are scarce, um, sinasabi ng Lord, sufficient yan during this phase oh. of your life. Hindi yana guys tandaan nyo. Uh, in simple words na no? hindi hindi kayo magkukulang kay Lord. Yan. Okay, I'll read the verse no mm -hmm. Deuteronomy 8 no uh, 7 to 9. Ang sabi dito, for the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land of flowing streams and pools of water with mountains and springs that gush out in the valleys and hills. It is a land of wheat and barley, shucks, so abundance, no? sinasabi dito, of grape vines, fig trees, and pomegranates. Ano ba yung pomegranates? So, hindi ko alam ko ano yan. Of olive oil and honey. It is a land where food is plentiful and nothing, eto na naman, and nothing is lacking. It is a land where iron is as common as stone and copper is abundant in the hills. So, ayan, paulit-ulit sinasabi, you will not lack. Ang ganda, no, right. Kathy? Ang ganda, yes. no, Kathy? Okay, we... I feel so, okay. Kathy, I feel so, ano, ah, I feel so, I think, uh, before we go into a uh, uh, episode break, no, I feel so, parang, um, parang ba, secure? Yun ata ang word, care, no? Though. Uh, yeah. At saka, oo. Yeah. Uh, hindi sa pang word eh, yung uh, assured. Yan, I am so assured. So, I believe do tayo mm. lahat nakikinig dito, no? Uh, 
Ang binasa ni Ka, uh, kumbaga diniskas ni Kathy yung uh, two points na very important no. Ang sabi unang unahin mo si Lord lahat mapo-provide sa iyo. Tapos yan uh, ano pa ba sinabi? Hindi ka magkukulang. Uh, mga yeah. promises to sa Bible. Eh. Agree. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. So ibig sabihin Leave. kung Wala kayo tayong, may ano? pinagdadaan Go ahead. Yeah, kung may pinagdadaanan kayo na medyo struggle, no? Um, financially, don't worry. Don't worry. Basta continue lang, push lang, tapos and faith lang kay Lord. And then, uh, I'm sure makakalipas, makakalampas ka rin. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but then again, I add lang, no? Provision is not just material, uh, but it, uh, the Lord will provide, even if you lack in the material um aspect he 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 can provide peace that passes all understanding so you're abundant in terms of the peace that you feel diba there okay so um guys we'll just have uh i want uh we'll just have an episode break i want you to see this uh ads na ito yung mga nagso support sa atin so that breakfast with the king is possible and then we'll we'll be back in a moment back here with us on the new channel the FIE channel this is breakfast with the king and we're talking about god's provision and um yeah carlo i will just be um uh reading this this um this one the new channel is an online alternative media platform of online shows for people on the go please share it to your friends and family and watch all our shows as seen on your screens. TNC aims to transform the lives of our viewers through engaging, authentic, and original content. Our channel is a responsible global 24-7 platform that showcases Filipino talent, global influencers, cultural intelligence, and ingenuity. Um, we are Breakfast with a King that you are able to watch live on uh, TNC, the new channel, as well as Kumu's FYE channel. Imagine having your own show, your own playlist, and your own content, but we make it easy for you. You can watch us live or replay or via Facebook on you- or YouTube. Follow us on Instagram as well. Listen to us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Just search hashtag TNC now. We are also... Um, watched live on LinkedIn. For sponsorships or other inquiries, please email now at the new channel.com or send us a direct message. Enjoy all of these life-changing shows because we made them just for you. So yeah, going back to um, our discussion for today, God's provision. So Carlo, 
let's continue. Okay. Next slide, please, Direct. Go ahead, Kathy. God's provision is meant to be shared. Oh, maganda. No, give Ooh. generously. So let's review, ha? Yung first kanina, Carlo, um, yung sinabi is uh, we are never in lack. What is that? Ne, the first yung first is ano, first, first seek God and everything mm -hmm. shall be added unto you. Yan. Correct, correct. And then uh, number two point, hindi ka para lang for those who... anything. Yeah. Okay. So number three naman, it is meant to be shared. So we are to give generously. So what does compassion look like? Let's try to describe it. Ah. Compassion is doing, is doing, not feeling. Okay? Uh, akala natin, compassion all, all the while, no? We thought that it's all about feeling. It's doing something to ease someone's pain, whether it is for for this week or more. In reality, most times of need last longer than a day. God's plan for the needy in Israel was that perfectly good food was intentionally left in the fields for the poor to have. You can read about that in Leviticus 19. Carlo? Are, okay. Are of course. When you harvest the crops of your land, do not harvest the grain along the edges of your fields and do not pick up what the harvesters drop uh it is the same with your grape crop do not strip everything last bunch of grapes from the vines and do not pick up the grapes that fall to the ground leave them for the poor ayan wag mo daw damputin yung mga nahuhulog na grapes na hina-harvest mo sa ground Iwan mo na lang siya for the poor. Yan ang message. And the foreigners living among you. I am the Lord your God. Yeah. Mm, okay. So it is being proactive. Hindi lang siya compassion, meaning I feel for them. Aawa ako. So what do you do with awa? What do you do, do, you do with... Di ba we always pray, uh, break... Uh, ano yan? Um, change my heart for... Parang pareho tayo ng nafi-feel, Lord. Parang transform my heart to feel what you feel. Um, so now that um, you are able to, you know, see yung parang or feel compassion, then we are supposed to, to work on it. Um, it is a, it's a verb, no? Not a noun. Meaning you are supposed Amen. to act on it. Kasi, so compassion requires I... trusting God. May I Go cover ahead. this one? Uh, gusto ko lang uh, uh, I have thoughts on this eh. Yung sa ano na. No? Yung next. Uh, ito lang naman. Compassion requires trusting God, not having plenty. This is completely opposite of the world's thinking, isn't it? So ito yan. Ulitin ko ah. Compassion requires trusting God, not having plenty. So dito, uh, di ba sinabi, compassion hindi lang siya nararamdaman mo. It is an action. You need to share. You need to share. Ngayon, uh, normally, iniisip natin, uh, mag-share ako when I have plenty. Hindi pala ganun yun. Ang, ang sinasabi pala ni Lord, mag-share ka with what you have now and then trust Him that He will provide more. That's there is a, a fine line between good stewardship of the provisions of God's given today and not trusting God enough to be able to share it. For example, the Macedonians, I, I am to let my overflowing joy and extreme poverty well up into rich, rich generosity. I am getting better at this as I am willing to trust God more. Trust God more. Sharing out of my meager supply. Kita mo yan, meager supply. Hindi ka abundant na ang dami mong supply. Tama lang ang supply mo. And yet, you share in faith. You know? In faith. May, may trust ka kay Lord that God will help those supplies stretch. So yung yeah. supply na yan, kakaunti lang, pero gusto mo mag-share, pero may faith ka sa Lord na pagkakasahin niya ni Lord, and then yeah. papadamihin pa niya and Ang sabi dito, you do it joyfully. Dapat with a joyful heart, masaya ka, hindi ka napipilitan. Hindi yung type na, oh, magsishare ako kasi sabi sa Bible, pero wala naman sa puso mo. Hindi ganon. 
you, gusto mo talaga mag-share. And uh, yeah. tiwala ka lang sa Diyos. Yeah. And, ganda, no? Super ganda. Super. Yeah, totoo yan. And on that note, Carlo, um, those who have, would like to acknowledge those who have shared their time with us. No, I see some comments here. Um, I don't know if Direk is able to flash, no? But, um, Sister Al Perez is saying, Blessed Sunday, TNC fam, and breakfast with the King family. Also, Miss Apple, our boss, no? Um, of here in, in TNC. Good morning, Carlo and Kathy. Another blessed morning. And then, um, Sister Al said, Such a beautiful assurance from our Lord. Thank you, Carlo and Sister Kathy. And then, uh, peace from God is his best provision. And then, Randy De Leon Tohos, mahalo from the Tohos family. Thank you for watching. And, um, oh, ayan, si Sis Al, thank you for being with us. And um, we know thank that... Thank you, he's... thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the Lord's words will not return to him void. Meaning, these are powerful words that are not coming from me and Carlo, but we're just picking it up from the word of God. And as these are read and shared with, you know, each other, these come to life. Yeah. Okay? okay. Especially Kathy, if we before, hold on to them. Before we continue, no? Before we continue with our topic, no? God's provision, no? Yan ang mga yan topic natin, no? Kung may, ngayon lang nag-tune in, no? Ito yung pinag-uusapan natin, yung key points uh, na kailangan mo gawin so that you will receive God's provision. Pero before we go ahead with that very important topic, meron tayong bagong segment ang tawag natin ay The Breakfast Reels. At ito, Kati, pinag-uusapan natin ang, uh, ano ang trending news uh, na nangyayari ngayon sa social media. No? Uh, and uh, pag sinabi social media, lahat yan. Facebook, uh, TikTok, uh, Instagram, uh, meron ako lahat yan. Snapchat, meron din ako nga, uh, ano friends. pa nga ba yun? Uh, Friendster, friends. meron ako niyan. Friendster. <laughs> friends na. <laughs> friends na. Like? Yung threads. Threads, yeah, yan yung bago ngayon. Uh, kung uh, wala pa kayong threads, uh, well, uh, baka uh, w- k- kumuha na kayo. Kailangan meron kayo kung di majojologs tayo niyan. So, kailangan may threads <laughs> okay, din kayo. So, what is this um, segment? Let's introduce Breakfast Reels. Okay. okay. We need to take a trip to the future. A facility in a rural New South Wales town is the first in the Southern Hemisphere to freeze humans in the hope that future technology will bring them back to life. It's now in operation seven years after it received council approval. Holbrook, population less than 2,000, famous for its 90-metre submarine in the centre of town. But up the road, another structure is certain to put it on the map. I'm very excited that we're here. Southern Cryonics is now in operation, putting Australia one step closer to making sci-fi films a reality. The centre will freeze people in the hope that they can be brought back to life with future developments in medicine. After death, bodies will be put into these cooling chambers filled with liquid nitrogen at minus 190 degrees Celsius. They are then transferred into a vacuum-sealed cryostat. And they can stay in there for many, many years, hundreds of years, without almost any deterioration. 50 people have now signed up to be suspended with an age range of between 33 to 80. Hmm, nawala. Naputol. Oh. Ay, so, naputol. okay, sinabi... Pero, oh, wait lang, ah. Iyan ako, kasi naputol, ano. Ang mangyari dito... Uh, Cryosis is a technology, Kathy. I want your ano, di, here, uh, comment uh, at saka biblical perspective. No? Cryosis is a technology. No? Hmm. Oh, ito yung nasa trending news ngayon no? kasi yan ang segment natin. Oh, Cryosis is a technology. Australia. In, in Australia, if you freeze kanila, pag freeze mo, babayad ka ng $150,000 para nag freeze ka. So that's 4.5 million pesos, guys. Pag-free sa'yo, tulog ka ngayon, no? frozen ka, 
perfectly uh, ano ka uh, ano 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 patawag chat uh, uh, yung hindi ka nagdedecay uh, ganyan um ang purpose okay bubuhayin ah, kasi ka naka hundreds body mo oh. yes bubuhayin ka hundreds or thousands of years later so ikaw ngayon mabubuhay gigisingin ka future na so parang nag time travel ka no ang fee dito, $150,000. 4.5 million pesos. Ngayon, ito yung catch, Kati. Wala pang technology para gisingin ka. Ngayon, ito. Alam ko. Sino, sino oh, gagawa alam niyan? Ko. Wait lang, no? Sino gagawa niyan? 50 people already paid 4.5 million na patulugin sila. Pero walang assurance na magigising sila later on. Paniwala lang nila magkakaroon ng technology na ganun. Ngayon, sa tingin mo, is this morally correct? I mean, is this ethically? Do you think sa Bible? Hmm. Well, um, I, okay. So unang-una, iklaro natin, Carlo. In Australia, sa 50 individuals composed of um, individual persons as well as families, no? Na nag-allow hmm. na maging part sila nitong experiment na ito na 50... Hindi ito experiment. Uh, uh, 50 sila. Hindi to experiment. And then after 1,000 years... Hindi yan experiment. Hindi to experiment. Hmm. It's a service. So kumbaga sure na sila... It's a service. So sure na yung mm. yung service provider na by the time na nagpirpumirma ka, right? With them. Diba? Mm. Dun sa service yeah. provider mo. Na in 1,000 years, gigisingin kanila, you'll be alive again. Um, yung katawan mo hindi nag-decay. Tapos, um, H- hindi you continue sure on with your life. Hindi lang sure kung magigising ka. Hindi lang sure kung magigising ka. Pero perfectly yeah, preserved be- ka. That's the service. Okay. Perfectly preserved ka. Perfectly preserved. Tapo, yung katawan mo, pero walang guarantee si service, for, uh, service provider na um, um, magigising ka pa after a thousand yeah. years. Tama? Thousand. Walang guarantee. Wow. Walang guarantee. Wow. Kasi paano kung let's say science pala, you know, by that time, um, Uy, nagkamali sila. Para mag- one, ano tayo, fast forward, 1,000 years after. Dapat nung 500 years lang, nag- ginising na sila kasi it was too long. <laughs> Ganun. So, baka, you know, it might, that might happen. So, in a way, for me, because there's no assurance, it's just like suicide. For me, eh? yeah. So, which is not in line with my faith. Yes, no, I agree so, with So, parang, I left my life to chance, no, which is not biblical because you should actually um, allow the Lord to take care of that. It's not for us to to um, what dictate ko ano yung gagawin sa buhay natin in, in that in that Amen. sense. Amen. Yeah. Ito sabi dito, uh, life is a gift from the Lord. Yeah, na chinecheck ko, no? Uh, Bible uh-uh. verses like uh, Ito, I'll, I'll, I'll check a Bible verse, huh? Um, Bean Brian is watching, by the way. Hello. Hi, Bean. Thank ito, you for tuning in. The Lord, Genesis, the Lord God formed man of dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living creature. So it's a gift from God, the eh, life, eh. So we should not take it for granted. Sa akin, okay lang patulugin ka nila, gising ka after 1,000 years, if they have the technology to wake you up. Already. That's fine with okay. me. Pero kung uh, si wala, walang technology, uh, hindi ka sure, parang you're bordering and committing suicide, in my opinion. Eh. Diba? That's Kasi right. Kasi patulugin ka. Eh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Are you guys... <laughs> Um, let us know. Uh, so, uh, Breakfast Reels will be um, a regular segment already here on Breakfast with the King. Uh, we'd like, the reason is because we want you to engage with us and um, chime in, usap tayo about your perspective, your Christian perspective. Please write your oh, comments dito. 
Yan, yung controversial issue na yan. We want your yes. Christian It's perspective on that. Very It's much welcome. At TNC. All right, so let's go back Aye. to our um, uh, topic for today. Number four, God's provision brings him glory. Praise him openly. In the book of Kings, you will find the stories of two widows, a Gentile widow in 1 Kings 17 and a Jewish prophet's okay. widow in 2 Kings. Carlo? Okay. Uh, hindi ko pwede basahin mahaba yan. O magdala. Okay. Ang haba yan. The life of the widow was very hard as it still can be our world today. God used his representatives Elijah and Elisha to provide for both of these women and their children in miraculous ways that God gave the glory for generations afterwards. So whatever provision that, you know, like providing for us, um, the Lord providing for us actually gives him glory. So we are to praise him openly that this, all of these, what we have really is not ours. So, so Yeah. Uh, ibalik okay. natin kay Lord. Kaya nga, di ba, in our prayer, we say, we give you back all the glory, honor, and praise. Okay. So, What? nakita niyo yung slides na kalagay doon, minention woman, no? Uh, si, uh, um, yung ano natin, yung author ng, uh, ng uh, topic natin, may ministry siya for women. Yan. So, kaya woman. Pero applicable din naman uh, sa men, no? Uh, so, kaya kinuwa ako kasi ang ganda ng sinasabi niya. Okay. Recap ko, no? Ang sabi niya, number one, um, seek ye first the kingdom of God and everything shall follow. Unahin mo si Lord, lahat ng pangangailangan, pangangailangan mo mapoprovide. Okay? Number two, ang sabi niya, Very hindi, ka magku- hindi, ka, hmm. ha? hindi ka magkukulang i- sa kahit ano. You will lack nothing. So, yan ang number two. Number three, you should share your blessings. Pag sinare mo blessings mo, ibibless ka pa more. And then number four, pag binless ka, uh, aba, maging appreciative ka. Mag-thank you ka ng todo. At saka tipong wag mo naman isikreto sa sarili mo. Sabihin mo, uh, thank you so much, oh Lord, the binless. Kwento mo sa pamilya mo, kwento mo sa, rela- sa, sa friends mo. And matutuwa si Lord kasi Correct. nagiging giving testimony ka. Yes. So therefore, ibibless ka pa niya more. Yan. So yan ang tip sa do those four things. Ibibless ka ni Lord. Okay? Okay. Kasi Kathy, may cover so, pa na last, no? Kathy, meron pa yan last. Can you please cover? Hindi pa yan okay. tapos. Eh. I think we can... Time. I think... Hmm. Yan, can you cover this lang last? Uh, do yeah, the work. Do the work, God will do the rest. Uh, okay, I may think hanggang dito point lang tayo, no? Wait lang, may okay. important do the talaga work. na slide. Uh, may isa pa bang slide the direct? Yan, paki-cover lang yan, Kathy. Okay. So, recognize God's provision and what to do with it. Okay? Meaning, ano yung gagawin mo doon sa provision na binigay sa iyo? So you and I need to recognize God's provision for to us as being supplied to us for His purpose. Whenever there does not seem to be enough, remember these four truths to stand strong in the tough times. Number one, God loves you. Number two, He knows what is going on in your life. Number three, He can do something about it. And number four, you can trust His goodness in whatever He chooses to do. Okay? So ako, um, uh, I am ano so... To, I feel so... Uh, hmm. Tough times. Tough times. Tough Dinadaanan times. natin yan. Uh, yan ang four na kailangan mo alalahanin. Kaya importante yan. Yan. So guys, Please screen screenshot this, um, take down notes. Um, you know, all of us, we're, you know, still in this world. Um, we're not of this world, meaning we are the Lord's, but we are in this world. And so we we experience, you know, I, um, Nawawala si Kathy. 
yung signal Do niya something is about data. it. And number four, Ayan. trust. Uh, and number okay. four, you can trust his goodness in whatever he chooses to do. I don't know if you heard the first part. I just screenshot this. Yes. Okay, alam mo, Kathy, super blessed ako dito sa ano natin, ano? Sa topic natin na uh, yeah. today. Super, super blessed ako. I hope yung mga uh, audience natin may napulot na maganda, no? So that they could get uh, yung uh, ano ni Lord provision. Uh, quick prayer ako. Quick prayer, Kathy. I wanna pray for, ano, for uh, our, our audience, no? Uh, Lord, I lift up to you everybody who's watching on Breakfast with the King. Even those people who are not watching, probably they're busy or uh, meron sila mga appointment. Lord, uh, provision is a very, uh, you know, uh, important concern for all of us. No, uh, well, how can we survive in this world if we don't eat? Uh, that's I know that's really a given. But uh, Lord, we are not afraid. We are not worried at all. Basta ang alam lang namin, we need to do the Amen. job that we have well and then we trust you 100% as in complete trust and then all things will work out. May provision lang dadating uh, because you love us so much and it, you promised it in your word in the Bible and uh, ang promises mo, uh, unlike a promise of a person, pwede magkatotoo or hindi, sayo, it is biblical truth. It is biblical truth. So 100% totoo yan. So we pray this prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Have a great week, everyone. Tuloy ko lang yung song, ah. Kung hindi maabutan oh, wow. natin. So this is Good, Good Father. Searching for answers at you. Only you provide, cause you know just what we need before we say a word. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm loved by you. It's who you are. I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways to us. So have a blessed week, everybody. Um, and approach this coming week knowing that you are so loved by the Lord. Happy weekend and see you again next Sunday. God bless you. God bless everyone. Bye-bye.